guys, it's Amanda, also known as Amateurs, and today we're doing my eyeshadow palette declutter. I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes, it's even down on the floor now. <laughs> so, we're gonna go through them. Um, I'm not gonna put them on the bed because there's just so much of it. So we're gonna go through it here, and I'm just gonna show you when we get rid of. It's gonna be very uncomfortable because my feet are in a weird position, because it's the only way I can face the camera and be high enough, so. Alright, I don't know where to start. I guess all the way in the back and just push things forward, uh, backwards. So let's start. I'm gonna get rid of this. I think we got this from Claire's a long time ago. I've hit pan in one of the colors called Spoiled when I did my Egyptian look. It's by Markins International, but I'm pretty sure we bought it from Claire's back when we first started doing makeup. Me and my friend. And it is broken. Like... It's not showing that it's broken. Right here, it's broken. See? So I'm gonna get rid of it. As much as it hurts my soul to get rid of it, but it's really, really old. The Eyes, Lips, and Face, or ELF palette in Days Tonight. I'm gonna get rid of this because I really don't use it. And I'm gonna get rid of the B, the Bombshell Eyeshadow palette. Well, I'm actually gonna keep this. Because there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of shimmers in it, and um, I haven't really tested it out, so I'm gonna keep this and test it out. This is just a box for one of my new ColourPop palettes I just purchased. It's right here. It's truly madly deeply. I'm gonna keep this because I actually really like it, and I just purchased it, so I'm gonna keep it and continue using it. I'm gonna get rid of the box though, so that's useless. Okay, let's maybe I should start in the front, so then it's never ends up falling down. Let's go through these small ones. This is the Pop Beauty Bright Up Your Life Eyeshadow Trio by In Peach Parfait. I'm going to get rid of this because I really don't use it. This is the Elf Flawless Eyeshadow Palette in Smoky. I'm going to keep it because it's like some of the only grays that I have. I don't want to do some more gray looks, so I'm going to keep this. The Wet n Wild Walk-In on Eggshell 30B. I want to keep this because it's sentimental. It's one of my first eyeshadow palettes or trios that I've purchased. So I'm going to keep this. Marvelous Mo Mauves by Dose of Colors. I'm going to keep this as well. I got this from BoxyCharm. I actually got it a long time ago. But the colors are still nice. I'm going to keep it and do maybe one more look with it. And then get rid of it. The NYX Dreamy Catch Dream Dreamcatcher Palette. Dust to Dawn. I'm going to get rid of this because I've used it so much, especially this pro this black, but it's really old. So I'm going to get rid of this. The Too Faced Sweet Peach. I actually got this when I first moved down here, to, or up here to Georgia. Still smells really good. I'm going to keep it. The BH Cosmetics Zodiac Palette. I'm going to keep this because I just recently purchased this, like, within the last year. The Masquerade by Juvia Spice. I'm going to get rid of this because there's these shades I just don't want to use, so I'm going to get rid of it. The Re Revealed 3 Coastal Scents Palette. I'm going to keep this. The 10 Color Eyeshadow Palette in Bright. Um, I'm going to get rid of this. Actually, let me look at it again. I'm actually going to keep it because it's the only palette that I have that actually has bright, bright colors in it. So I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep this as the American Horror Story Fear of Has a Face eyeshadow palette. I'm going to keep it because it's sentimental, although it's broken. <laughs> it's sentimental because I like American Horror Story. I also have two Supernatural ones. I got Join the, F Join the Hunt eyeshadow palette. Which, I, by the way, I got these from um, Hot Topic. And Supernatural Join the Hunt Monster Guide. So I'm going to keep these because I like I like those TV shows a lot. So The Kat Von D International Interstellar, I am sorry. Um, I'm going to get rid of this because I never use these shades. The Kat Von D Monarch eyeshadow palette, I'm going to keep this one because I actually do like the shades. I just don't use it very often. I use the black more often than anything. The Celestial Thunder Dominic, Dominique. Um, cosmetics, Dominic, Dominique. Uh, I'm gonna keep this because I do like the shades. I'm gonna try to use it for more, I uh, how, more looks. <laughs> the Comfort Zone in Wet and Wild. I'm gonna keep this because it actually has a green in it, and I don't have many shadows that have greens. And I really like this dual color. It's like a blue black or blue purple. I don't know which of the two it is, but I really like the shade. So I'm gonna keep it. The ColourPop Double and Tendre. 
I'm gonna keep this because it's fairly new. Okay, let's go up here a little bit. Fairy tale storybook cosmetics in the red right, just the red writing hood. I'm gonna just call it that. I'm gonna keep it because I just love the way it looks, and I just got it recently. The loving in color, living in color. I'm gonna get rid of this because I really don't use it. And Hank and Henry, the Wonder Beauty trip for two. I'm gonna. Oh, this is a contour palette. Just some contour palettes right here. I'm going to get rid of this because I'm not going to use it. The Maybelline Master to Contour. I'm going to keep this because I actually do use this one sometimes. I'm going to put it up there. The Contour Kick Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to get rid of this because it's really old and I haven't used it in forever. I'm going to get rid of these two. The Too Faced Natural Eyes and Too Faced bon Bonjour Eyes because they're really, really old. Although I want to keep them because of sentimental reasons. Um, just the really old one. I don't want to take a chance of getting this dye. This is a uh, highlighter. It's Too Faced Diamond Light. I just like the way it's set up, so I'm going to keep it. <laughs> this is a Rimmel Dark Brown Eyebrow Pencil. I'm going to keep this. It's never been opened. This is the MAC Eye Primer Remover. I want to get rid of this because it's old and I, it's empty, basically. I'm going to get rid of this eyeshadow palette by Wet n Wild. Um, it's supposed to be Aries. But it doesn't say any name on it. It just says eyeshadow palette. Oh, and fire. Oh, it's for the horoscopes. Studio makeup on the go eyeshadow palette in the color, in the, it doesn't say. So let's open it up. Let's try to open it up. Oh, it has purples in it. I'm going to keep this one because I don't have many purples. Another uh, on the go studio makeup. Um, I'm going to keep this one as well. Ace Beauty Vintage Vintage Dawn. I'm gonna keep this because of this yellow and this orange. I hardly have any of those, and that's a really nice red as well. So I'm gonna keep this one as well. The CoverGirl Rain Eyeshadow Palette. I'm gonna keep this because I like the way it looks. And the CoverGirl Revolution. I'm gonna also keep this one because I like the way it looks. I purchased it because of the way it looks. So one day when I can actually like showcase these, I'm gonna have those in like showcasing themselves because I just like the way they look so much. This is the Profusion Cosmetics Santa's. I'll get rid of it. Peak Cosmetics and Neutrals, the 28 color eyeshadow palette. Let me open it. I'm going to get rid of this as well. These are my Morphe palettes. I'm going to keep all of my Morphe palettes. This is in 3502. Let me show you guys. It has a red, mostly reds and Etc. This is the 35M. It has greens in it that I want to keep, which I'm going to do some looks on. The 35V looks like this. And the 30, oh, 35O. This is my old one. I lost two pans right here, my two favorite colors, and I lost them because it fell on the floor. So I'm going to keep this because I actually do use this one. My Jaclyn Hill palette. The Butter London. I'm going to keep this. It's Natural Goddess. I haven't used it very often. But I'm going to keep it. The Calico <clears throat> eyeshadow palette. Excuse me. I need to do a look with this eventually. So I'm going to keep it. My mom gave this to me. The CoverGirl True Naked Jewels. The CoverGirl True Naked Golden. And the CoverGirl True Naked Roses, I'm going to keep. The Magnify Eyes Eyeshadow Edition Rimmel London, I'm going to keep this because I wanted to do a look with it. And it's only $4. Wet n Wild's Natural Nude Awakening Palette. I'm going to keep this as well because I like the shades are in it. Violet Voss Essentials Pro Series. Um, I'm going to get rid of this. Urban Decay's Beauty with an Edge. I'm going to get rid of this as well. Let's start putting these back in here, and then I'll continue going through the rest of the shadows that are on the floor. Alright, continuing on the Urban Decay on the Run, I'm going to get rid of this. Actually, no, I'm going to keep this. I bought it for these greens, and I still got to look with it, do a look with it, so I'm going to keep this. The Don't Steal My Thunder Wet n Wild, this also has a gray I'm going to keep. 
the Ofra Pro. I have a whole bunch of different eyeshadows from different companies in this. I don't know any of the names of them because they don't have any of the names on them. But I'm going to keep this because it has shades in it I like. Then Neon Color Story uh, Neon Obsessed. I'm going to get rid of this. The BH Cosmetics Foil Eyes 2. I'm going to keep this because I just recently purchased this. Now for singles. For singles. I got the Ace Beauty Glimmer uh, Shadows. I'm going to get rid of both of these in Huckleberry and French Vanilla. The KVD in Raw Powder and Metal Crush. Looks like that. I'm going to keep it. The L'Oreal Infallible Paint Metallic in Rose Chrome. I really like that shade. I'm going to keep it. The Natasha Den Denona. I'm going to keep it. The color L'Oreal. The color Inf the L'Oreal Infallible Paint Metallics in Aluminum Foil. I'm going to keep it. It's also another gray. I'm going to get rid of this. This is the Hard Candy Glitter. Glitterazzi and Liquid Sparkler. I'm going to get rid of it. The Bare Minerals Ready Eyeshadow. I'm going to get rid of this because it's sticky now. The Vitalist, the Vitalist Healthy Glow Illuminator. This is supposed to be a like a uh, highlighter. I'm going to keep this because I'm going to try it out. The Ulta Color Pure Eyeshadow Pigment. I bought like all of these. So I'm going to keep all of them. They belong in there. Um, Beauty for Real in the shade Shadow Sticks. I haven't used this yet, so I'm going to keep it, see if I can try it out. The Lock Liquid Shimmer Eyeshadow. I'm going to get rid of it because it's really old. The Lock, the Lock Champagne Problems One and Done eyeshadow, palette, eyeshadow stick. I'm going to get rid of this as well. The Mally eye color, eye color Shadow Stick Extra in Ombre and Pop Ears. I'm going to keep that. More of the Ulta Color Pures. I'm going to keep these and put them in here. The Glam Glamour Glitter in White. I'm going to keep this. It's by Beauty Treats. I'm going to get rid of the Hard Candy Pop in pigments in the shade. That's so tiny I can't read it, so I'm going to get rid of it. The NYX glitter face and body glitter in 09. I'm going to keep it. The Wet n Wild loose pigment in green. It is in the Celtic glow. I'm going to keep it. I keep all my glitters, so I'm just going to take these out because I'm going to keep them. Except for the hard candy, I got another hard candy that's gray and a hard candy that's gold because these are really really old. The NYX um, a Fireball. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, that looks really nice. I'm going to keep that. Ta-da! As everything falls over, per usual. Now I got these. I'm going to keep... I'm going to keep all of these. And these. The Ulta Brilliant Eyeshadow. Sorry you guys can't see these pretty well because I'm so far away. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep the purple that comes with it as well. I think that's a purple. Anubis. Well, this is a hard candy one. I'm going to get rid of the hard candy one. S sweetie. <laughs> Need him to get out. Now lastly, I got the Carly Bible Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep all her palettes. Which is the BH Cosmetics 14 eyeshadow palette. I'm going to keep it. I hit pan, but I love this, this palette a lot. And it's not being sold anymore. And the BH Cosmetics 21 color palette. Which I'm going to keep as well. And I got her El Maquillage collection as well. I'm going to keep Alright, and now we're done with all the eyeshadow palettes. I got rid of quite a bit, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more declutter videos, just tell me what you want to see, and I will get to it. I'm not going to do the falsies because I'm going to keep them all, let's be honest. 
and lips I've already gone through once before. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of this one, the milk makeup one. I don't like that one too much. So I'm gonna rid of one of them. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you have a wonderful day.